53 minutes after the hour on your Saturday morning, Faith Under Fire. Arkansas State University's football team forced to remove these crosses from their helmets after complaints were received. These crosses honored the lives of two fallen teammates, Barry Wire and Markel Owens. Joining us now is the mother of Barry Owens, Michelle Wire, and defensive back for Arkansas State, Raziel Velgas. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. First, I'm so sorry for your loss, and I do appreciate you coming on the program. Um, first, when, when the cross decal was put on the helmets, which is something uh, and the initials of, of both of the deceased, um, this is something that, that, that is common, not having the cross, but having decals honoring um, maybe a life that was lost or, or, or a way to honor someone. And then upon its removal, what did that make you feel like? I was... First of all, I didn't even know the decals were being placed until the, I went to the Montana State game. And it was hard for me to enter the stadium knowing that my son wasn't going to be there. But when I seen the guys come out with helmets, I felt as if my son and Marco Owens' mother, son was on the field with those players. And we were very touched and honored that they respected our children enough to have that place there. And... It, we were just overwhelmed. We were thrilled to have that on there for them because they both worked so hard for A-State football. Mark Hale was a player and my son was the equipment manager. Right. So Raz, what ends up happening is two complaints are received and um, nobody tries to sue the university or anything else but two complaints are received. It's taken to the legal team there at the university and they say all right, we're going to take this down. Separation of, of church and state. Separation of, uh, separation of church and school in this case. Um, did you back that decision at all, or do you think it was wrong, Raz? Um, I mean, it was, it was out of our control, really, uh, out of the football team's control. We initially, we initially wanted to, to show the cross because, I mean, we're, we're a Christian-based football team. And it's really because of our fallen soldiers, you know, uh, the, the military does it as well. Whatever fallen soldiers go, go down, they're represented with the cross uh, and the burial site. Yeah. So we wanted to always keep them there with us uh, through the battlefield, you know, every Saturday, really every day uh, when we're out practicing, just keep them there with us uh, on our minds. And it was, it was a big deal for us because uh, initially we wanted to represent them through, through the cross and uh, um, really through... Not it, it wasn't meant to be like a Christian-based thing. It was just for the for the honoring of those names, and um, that's really what's getting done right now. Yeah, it wasn't the actual players who were were feeling offended by all this anyway. Well, Raz and Michelle, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate you coming on. I'm I'm sorry for your loss, and um, I'm glad we could share your story and show the cross and show the initials both together. Have a great day. Thank, thank you. you.